Good morning, y'all. Lisa here at Family Foods, and I'm with David, and we've got the coffee brewing this morning, and I woke up to thinking about what we're going to be having all this week, and I've got some awesome stuff in my head going. I mean, really just have about probably eight or ten recipes I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to try to make something new for every day that we eat. Um, so I'm going to be making things in kind of smaller portions, but that's because, again, I just want us to have a little bit of variety and have fun with it. So I'm thinking today is going to be like a bit of an Italian day, and um, I thought we'd start off for lunch today is going to be a minestrone soup, and then dinner tonight is going to be stuffed bell peppers. Does that sound awesome? So I've got kind of laid out here what um, I'm thinking for the minestrone soup. And um, I'll get everything kind of like prepped up and I'll show you. I think I'm going to try to do everything in the slow cooker. I never use the slow cooker, but I kind of like the idea of just, you know, we can go to the gym. Uh, I can kind of keep an eye on things and the house is going to smell really good. So um, for the minestrone soup, I'm going to use uh, some of this tomato sauce and some chicken broth as the liquid. I'm gonna put in some of the elbow noodles to cook in there. I'm gonna cook them dry in there because I want them to soak up all that nice flavor. Um, I've got this mixed vegetables and I've got some ideas for a couple things with it actually. I think I'm just gonna take out the corn from this mixed vegetable thing and put that in the minestrone for a nice color. Some carrots and then I think I'm gonna use, um, I was gonna use all the spinach but Y'all are giving me some great other great ideas um, for some another dish. So I'm gonna use some of the spinach, I think, and that too. Um, and then the stuffed peppers, I'm gonna use the ground beef for that. But I think there is enough beef here that um, when I cook it up, when I do the peppers, I think I'm gonna add just a touch maybe to the mushroom. So anyways, I'm gonna get this prepped up and I'll show you when I get it all in here and you'll see exactly how much I'm using. They sure don't give you much corn in this little uh, mixed vegetable thing. That's my little corn there. And I tell you, these vegetables, I never buy canned vegetables. Well, sometimes I buy canned corn, but um, they are pretty uh, pretty soft and pretty sad looking here. So <laughs> I'm glad I opened up this can. There's a little celery in there. I didn't know there was celery in this little mix here. But anyways... Um, yeah, just want to show you what these little vegetables look like. And there's my little corn, but getting everything else prepped up here. All right, guys, I got everything laid out for this minestrone. Now, remember, I'm just making small quantities here because, again, I like to have a little variety so and have fun with it as well. So this is going to be the minestrone for lunch. I'm making the slow cooker. I got to get it on because it's already... <laughs> 11.30 in the morning, we're we're late. We, we, we stay up late, sleep in, kind of do things in the morning and uh, have our coffee and more have a, have a lunch. But anyways, um, I've got some of the spinach here, more for color than anything, a um, little freshness. I was very disappointed in the can of mixed vegetables. I actually had plans for some of the other things in it and they just look like crap. Um, so probably would never buy that again, but uh, we got some corn here, got a, a carrot chopped up, and when you don't have a whole lot of stuff, one little tip is just cut it small, and then you just get a nice variety throughout, nice color throughout, nice flavor through with each bite, um, so that's just a little tip to stretch things. I've got, here's the ground beef, I cooked it all up because I'm doing stuffed peppers tonight, so a decent amount of ground beef. Um, you know, if I dump this in there, this this ham was kind of full layering the bottom. Um, and uh, I'm gonna use most of it in the stuffed pepper, but I thought, you know what? Why not put a little bit in the, uh, the soup as well? You can leave that out if you wanted to. Um, some of the elbow noodles dry. I've got two bouillon cubes. Now I might, um, we don't like things whole, a bit salty. So I'd rather just start with two and I can always add one more with some more water if I feel like I need some more broth if the noodles soak it up. I just wing things, guys, when I cook. I, you just, just put it in the pot, check on it, make it with love. It's going to come out. Don't stress about it. 
Um, half a cup of tomato sauce that's going to give a nice little flavor. And that's it. We're going to put all this right in here. It was filmy. So we got the meat in there, the tomato sauce. I'm going to use, I've got, um, I measured out four cups of water. We've got to get every little bit out. You see, so I got four cups of water here. And again, it looks a little thick or not enough soup. I'm going to add another bouillon. That's why those bouillon cubes are great because you can make, each one makes like a cup of broth and they come in handy. Scrape this in there, the carrots and the spinach. So I'm going to cook this on high pressure until the noodles are cooked. Hopefully it doesn't take more than um, two or three hours. I don't know. I'm not that familiar with the slow cooker, but I'm just going to go do our thing and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it, give it a stir and I'll let you know, let you guys know how it's coming along. But that's that. And then we're going to do, we'll prep up the, uh, the stuffed peppers for, for later. So we got a lot of goodies, a lot of goodies going on in my head here. So anyways, that's on. On to some dinner prep. So I've got the soup in the slow cooker. It's going to take a little, little bit here, but I figure since I already got the ground beef uh, cooked up and I cooked up the rice and the beans yesterday, you guys saw. Um, I'm going to do some stuffed peppers, keeping everything very simple. I do plan on using seasonings and some condiments if I need to out of the pantry because those are just things that everybody really should have on hand. Um, it's not stuff that you buy every single time at the grocery store. They last for a while. Um, but anyways, for the stuffed peppers, I've got this big daddy and I'm hoping once I cut it, I'll show you when I cut it. it when I shake it, it sounds like it's got a little baby pepper. Can you hear that? in it <laughs> which would be really cool because then we'll get uh, a little more pepper out of it for something um but i'm gonna do uh, just very simple i'm gonna do the ground beef and rice a little bit of tomato sauce mixed in we're going italian here and i think i'm gonna bring in this cream cheese i was debating on how i wanted to, to use it um but i think i'm going to kind of warm it up and mix it in with the with everything. So I'm gonna get things kind of a little prepped up here and um, I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm just kind of doing this advance, obviously it's not dinner time yet, but got my baking dish here and it could just sit in the refrigerator and then all I gotta do later is just pop it in the oven. All right guys, so I got everything laid out here for the pepper. There wasn't a baby one in there. I don't know what that rattling was, but I like to cut the pepper uh, lengthwise because then you can put more filling in there. So uh, this little big daddy side, that would be David's. But I just got the peppers here. And um, for the filling, I've got, I put about two ounces of the cream cheese. Just kind of warmed it up a little bit just to soften it. Um, so I still got not much cream cheese here. And to that, I'm going to add some rice. So the rice I cooked... Um, a hair under what I usually cook rice because, you know, I'm going to be reheating it and I don't want it to turn to mush. So I'm just making enough for tonight's dinner. Uh, let's see how that is. We're going to add all the ground beef here. And in there. And then I thought, because you want the peppers to, to steam, when I put in this dish here, I'm going to make a little liquid. Um, I'm going to heat this up in the microwave. I'm going to take one bouillon cube and put it in there. And again, I'm just eyeballing everything. I'm going to add some water to that. While making this, I'm going to microwave this just to dissolve the bouillon. And then I'm going to add a little tomato sauce. And that's going to be my broth that the peppers bake in. So we're gonna just heat that up a little bit to soften that bouillon. But right here I've got the, the cream cheese, the ground beef, the rice, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. Okay, for flavor. I'm gonna need that for the, the broth too. 
Stuffed peppers are great. You can, I mean, if, if I wasn't making this on the, the challenge, I would really make it almost the exact same way. Maybe add some, some vegetables. I make a lot of times without even any meat. I just do kind of like a Tex-Mex one with black beans and corn. You guys have probably seen me make that before. It's an easy go-to. But just mixing it all up. Doesn't that look good? Now I wanna have enough filling to really pack these in because this is dinner. So I think I'm gonna add um, a little bit more rice. Okay, because that's looking good. And also with this broth, once everything's kind of steaming, you'll see when I'm ready to cook it, I'm thinking I'll kind of ladle a little bit of that kind of chicken tomato broth into the peppers just to keep them from not drying out and kind of let that rice absorb some of that flavor. It's gonna be delicious. You can add some uh, dried herbs in here if you want. Um, a little dried oregano or basil or something like that. Salt, pepper. I mean, I didn't season the rice or the beef or anything because I like to just have control uh, for since I'm making so many dishes with it. But here's it. A little bouillon. I just, well, that didn't really do too much in the microwave here. Well, I'm going to break it up. And, oh, there we go. So now I have like a little bit of a chicken broth. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. Okay. And I still got about a good half jar of tomato sauce. So there we go. And that is going to be delicious. So this is gonna get poured right in the bottom here. Okay, because you wanna have some kind of liquid for these peppers to, to steam in. All right, but I'm just prepping it up. I'm not, I'm not cooking it yet. There's my little tasty tomato broth. And now I got this all mixed up. I mean, how can this taste bad, right? So now I'm just gonna fill these peppers up. Okay, stuffed peppers. Easy, easy dinner. The colored peppers are really pretty but they're a lot more expensive. Green peppers are always gonna be your cheaper option, always. Let's put some in here. And yeah. Dan and I don't do a whole lot of breakfast. I do have a, a breakfast-y kind of dish planned and some sn a snacky type thing. So we're gonna be all over the place with all kinds of stuff. We're gonna see what we're in the mood for and just have fun with it. So, okay, that was the perfect amount. It's nice and packed in. And again, this is gonna kind of expand a little bit because like I said, the rice wasn't fully cooked. So this actually will look fuller once, once it starts to bake. It will definitely look fuller. So we've got that packed in, ready to go. And also too, a little uh, trick, you want your peppers to stand up straight um, I'm trying to cut it because I had a little flat spot. I think these are okay. You can always just cut a little tiny piece off the, um, the bottom. But there we go. I'm gonna just cover this with some, some ram wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and then when it comes time to bake them, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing. But those look good, and those look like they'd be perfect for, uh, for Christmas dinner. Look at that. We're a little, <laughs> like, very festive. All right, guys, we'll catch you soon. David and I just walked in the door. We went to the gym and came back, and we are very hungry. And look at that, guys. I just tasted the broth, and it's perfect. Very, very tasty. All the vegetables, well, the carrots, and I guess the spinach. Add a little bit of the corn. Added a little bit of flavor, a little sweetness. But anyways, I'm going to dish this up into some bowls, and um, yeah. Ready to eat, mm, yummy. Here's what it looks like in the bowls. Now these are full, that looks so good. And I still have some in this uh, crock pot. So if David, this will be enough for me. This will definitely fill me up. So if David wants another second bowl, um, that's still a decent amount there. That's probably a good half, half bowl full. 
Um, and uh, we're gonna sit down and do a little taste test. I got a little sriracha out, uh, maybe for a little spice might be good. But um, yeah, let's let's see what uh, let's see what David thinks. All right, sitting down, we just both added a little sriracha to it, and it's really hot, babe. Right. I'm hungry. Here we go. And those noodles are definitely cooked. I was worried about the noodles because. Well, yeah, they're definitely done. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Is it tasty? I thought it was pretty tasty for not having to add any salt and pepper. Those bouillon mm -hmm. cubes are naturally pretty salty. Same with that tomato sauce, but um, nice, simple, hearty soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna fill you up? I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have <upset>. said <laughs> David's still waking up. But anyways, we're gonna have this uh, for lunch here and we'll meet you back at dinner time. All right, guys, getting close to dinner time here. So I am preheating my oven to 400 degrees and I got my stuffed peppers I made earlier, which is nice. And um, so the soup that we had earlier, the minestrone, um, by the way, I rate that a 10 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. I would eat it every day. Um, the only thing uh, uh, is the noodles were slightly overcooked because we left to go to the gym and had it been home to kind of check it. I would have taken off a little time on that slow cooker, but other than that, I thought the flavor was fantastic. This was what was left in after we scooped it up kind of in the pot. I hated to throw it away because it was so tasty. It's pretty much identical to the sauce that I made earlier, so I'm just gonna pour this right on top here. Whatever's gonna soak in. Doing it one-handed, doesn't matter. Because like I said, that rice is, um, you know, it's, it's mostly cooked. It's a little undercooked. So there we go. I'm pouring that right on top. If you didn't have that, like I said, all I plan on doing after I'm going to cover this with tin foil is, you know, halfway through or so, I would take a spoon, kind of baste it, spoon it into the rice and just get that flavor in there. So this is going to cover with tin foil. I'm going to throw it at 400 degrees and I'm going to think it's going to take somewhere between 40 minutes and an hour. We will see, I will let you know. I just pulled the peppers out of the oven about a half hour, so everything's getting nice and hot now. You can see some steam, and it's looking good, but it's not done yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ladle some more of that broth just in the pepper, cover it, throw it back in the oven, probably check it another 20 minutes or so. All right, y'all, these peppers are done. They look fantastic. Um, I basted them one more time, and um, the last time I was like, let me just taste this. It is so good. I had David try it too. I have never in my life put cream cheese into my stuffed peppers. But let me tell you, I can taste it, and it's good. So I'm going to dish these up and put them in these bowls, nice and pretty. And David and I will sit down, and um, we'll let you know what we think. Day one. All right, Dave and I are sitting down and look at this feast. I just went ahead, this is a huge portion by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but this is, this is a lot of food here. Um, I just went ahead and topped it with a little bit of uh, pepper flakes, a little bit of dried oregano and basil, just, and black pepper, just for some color. But um, yeah, all right, we're sitting down. It's been a good day. Are you hungry? Starving. Ready to eat? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay. It's, it's piping hot. It just came out of the oven. It did. So um, I told him we already tasted a little bit of the filling because I was like, well, let me see how this is. Mm -hmm. But oh, that pepper's nice and soft. Oh, it is. I just poured that broth right in the bowl because it's nice and flavorful. Blue on it. And I oh. have never made stuffed peppers with cream cheese, but. I taste the cream I cheese, yeah, yeah. but it's it good. Tastes. It's like, yeah. I would have never thought to put cream cheese in it. But you can see the cream cheese in there. Yeah, like, it gives it nice, a nice little flavor. You like it? I love it. Like, okay, yeah. let me taste that with the pepper. Wow. Those peppers are nice and soft. They, they steamed. Are. Cut with your fork. Let me see. Mm. That's really good. It is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I haven't had to adjust anything really with salt or anything. 
I think it's been really flavorful. This is sad, but this is probably like my like my second or third stuffed pepper ever. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what do you think? It's I love it. Stuff, you don't need to get complicated with anything, guys. Just you make food with blood, keep it simple, and it will taste mm -hmm. good. This is really, really good. It really is. I was like, oh god, I bet she's gonna need like some cheese or something. Mm -hmm. It is creamy and flavor. Oh, this, mm -hmm. this spilt that, but it's really creamy and flavorful. The peppers are nice and soft. David did a good job getting those big peppers because, oh. um, again, it doesn't look like a whole lot of food, but it's that's a big portion, huh? Huge, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's mm. yeah. It's, it's oh, big. anyway, we well, ate well today. We did. Okay, what we'll I do is go yeah. tomorrow. I got a couple of things in mind. You guys are giving me some really great ideas. But um, anyways, guys, remember, always eat happy foods, make food with love. And that's all you need, right? So we will catch you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and that's it, right? We'll catch you tomorrow. We'll catch you tomorrow. Ciao, my friend.